Hey, what is going on my fellow jewelers? So did I ever tell you about the time when my friend sent me a picture of paper clips and she said, can you make these into earrings for me? And I'm like, well, yeah, of course. Do you want them simple? Do you want them blingy? She goes, no, just simple. Just some with some hooks on it so I can put them on my ears. And I was like, yes, I can. Well, when I made them, I fell totally in love with them. And they're not your usual paper clips. They are these puppies. Oh my goodness, aren't these cute? These are so cute. Anyway, I, I just stink and love them. But you know me, I can't just go plain Jane. I gotta go with some bling, that's right. And plain Jane is okay, but for me, I like adding a little sparkle. So today, my fellow jewelers, we are making these. Oh, look at these, look at these. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. And BB Craft sent me these beads, so I was like, yes, these would go perfect with these paper clip earrings. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. They're super simple. I mean, like beyond easy, and they're super chic. You know me, chic and easy, totally up my alley. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell, get notifications, because I'm all about the how-tos of jewelry making. So you and me, let's get started. All right, so let's get started. For the material list you're gonna need and the tools you're gonna need and even some links so you can purchase the same things I have, it's all in the description below, so go ahead and check that out. Now, this earring is probably one of the easiest earrings you'll ever make. And when you tell people, yeah, I made this from a paper clip, they're gonna flip their lid. I'm so excited. So you're gonna need, um, the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna want to get your shepherd's hook and your jump ring. Now, my shepherd hook, it looks like there's a gap in it, and so I'm I am just going to close up my gap real quick. You don't want gaps when it comes to your jewelry making because that means that there's a possibility of it falling off and it uh, disconnecting. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jump ring, which is already open, and I am going to um, use one of my pliers and put my my chipper hooks on, and then I need to close it up. You need to close it up so there's no gap whatsoever. You can do this actually on the the paper clip, but it's right it's way easier just to close it up now. And if you've never used a jump ring before, I've made a tutorial for it. You can totally check that out, but make sure there's no gap in your jump ring. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is, it's a paper clip, right? You, you, you put things on it. So you're gonna put your jump ring on it and you're gonna pull it all the way so that it is on, um, it, it has two of these pieces of the paper clip on it. You don't want it down here. I mean, if you do, no big deal, but I like to have it where it's all the way down on it. Um, and then you're gonna need to put a loop on your bead. And so I'm gonna grab my head pin and I am going to put it on my bead, so I put it all the way through. This is too much wire, so I'm gonna cut it, right? And I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna make kind of like a small medium loop, just like that. And then I'm gonna bend this at a 90 degree angle. And I am going to twist this around, twist it around, and but still leaving a gap right here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper clip and I'm gonna make sure that um, my shepherd hook is not moving around. I need it to stay there and I'm going to put it on. Okay. And then I'm going to close it up. And the reason you don't want your shepherd hook moving around is because it needs to stay on one side. I actually put my bead on the wrong side and I had to redo the whole thing. And so what you have here, oh my goodness, you just close it up. Look at that. Isn't that the simplest earring you're ever going to make? And it's made of a paper clip. Come on now. <gasps> Look at these ears. I love them so, oh my goodness, I love, I can make a million of them. They're so stinking cute. Oh my goodness, I love them, I love them, I love them. Give me a big old thumbs up, comment, share, like, love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much, BB Craft, for sending me the beads and stuff. They said, hey, if you have more than 100 subscribers, we want to send you some free beads, and you just need to make three videos um, for us with the beads that we sent you. And I'm like, heck yes. So if you are a jewelry maker and have more than 100 subscribers, go contact BB Craft. I'll put their website in the description below. I'm going to put their YouTube program in the description below and of course you know I won't be putting where you can buy these beads because they're stinking cute and of course the paper clips because hello paper clip earrings hello beautiful oh I love it but before I go you know I love praying for my viewers you know I love praying for you and so I felt like the Lord wanted me to pray for those who are going through a really hard time and for you not to bail out don't give up don't give in no matter how hard it is if you have that boss that's just a 
horrible and they're just reaming you every single day or you're just going through a really hard time with your family or just life is throwing stuff at you. God just wants you to know, don't give up. Don't abandon ship. Okay. So God, I pray for those that are going through struggles right now, whether it's on the job, family or whatever else. God, I pray God that you would give them the strength not to bail out, not to give up and not to give in. God, you have something for them on the other side. May they be able to persevere during this time. No, give them the strength to persevere during this time in Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Paperclip earrings rule!